Hi everyone, Wayne Connor here from Dubbo, and tonight I want to show you how to make a really yummy mouse pizza. You might have heard we've got a mouse plague in Dubbo. We've got more mice than we know what to do with. In a time when there's world food shortage, I thought the best thing to do is eat them. And so I'm going to show you how to make a, a beautiful mouse gourmet pizza. So this is some sourdough, um, spelt sourdough that I've been slow raising for about 24 hours. Now the, the key when you're making a nice pizza is not rolling it but pressing it because what you're seeing here is I'm pressing the dough out and it's thinning but it has that bit at the edge there that's not going thin which will make the beautiful crust so there's a nice piece of um, pizza crust there I'll just move that out of the way and I've just got some passata here and some homegrown basil from the paddock, which has been dried by hanging it upside down. And I just stir that in with the passata, so it looks like that, with a little bit of salt. Now, um, while I'm getting that, I'll just let you know about these mice. Um, the thing is, when you're going to eat um, the pizza, like now, it's night time, the mice aren't really out yet. They don't, they're nocturnal animals which means you have to use the mice that you've caught from the night before. But you really want a beautiful fresh mouse on your pizza. So I find the best thing to do is get those mice from the night before and put them in the fridge, keep them nice and fresh. The other thing is when you're trapping the mice, you can trap them in the mouse trap. It just crushes all their bones. It doesn't look as nice on the pizza. So I recommend one of those um, multi traps because it keeps the, mouse, the mice in really good condition and it'll let you have one of the best pizzas. So. Um, I like to put the, the mouse on the bottom because we want to decorate him up to look pretty. So here's last night's mice. We had a big catch last night and here's a few I've just been keeping in the fridge. So probably I reckon about four is nice to have on a pizza. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four beautiful little mice. Just get a nice close up of that there. Wonderful. Now, don't normally cook with mice, but they are a fairly gamey animal. So I like to put a bit of barbecue sauce on them. I find it goes, the smoky barbecue gives you that, goes well with that gamey taste. Bit of onion, not too much. You wanna, you want the mouse to be the hero here, not the vegetables. A bit of um, capsicum and I like a mild cheese, so I've actually got just a cherry bocconcini here. I'll put a bit of that on each mouse, and then a bit on the pizza. If you if you use a strong cheese, like a, um, a parmesan or a tasty, you're gonna flood that flavor of that mouse. These are just paddock mice, and so, like, like I said, we want them to be the hero of the dish. So there we go, there's our mice. I'll just grab my... Um, Now I've had, I've had this pizza up in here warming up all day. I uh, started the fire about eight o'clock this morning, so it's nice and hot. And I'll just shove that little mousey in the oven. He's not gonna take long at all. So probably, probably one or two minutes will give that mouse time to cook. And this is a one take, okay? So we're not gonna cut this and come back to it and you think that I've eaten a fake pizza. Um, I want to show you I'm really eating the True Blue mouse pizza here um, because, uh, but I'll take the time to give you a few health warnings. The mice might have warfarin in them because if you're using the rat sack, um, that main ingredient is, in, is warfarin, which is a blood thinner. So if you are yourself on blood thinners and you're going to be eating the mice that have been eating the rat sack, I can't urge you strong enough to talk to your doctor before you go off your own blood, blood thinners. You might be thinking, well, if I'm having a diet of mice now, I might be able to go off my blood thinners. Um, but no, talk to your doctor first. Don't change any of your medication without talking to your doctor. And also, I'd probably recommend, um, if you are baiting your mice, you talk to your doctor about the health effects of the, the rat sack. Perhaps if you're a bit worried about that, go, with some, go rat sack free in your house for a couple of weeks uh, before you go eating the mice. So I'm just... 
killing time here basically while this beautiful mouse pizza um, cooks here and then we'll have a, a taste of these beauties. Okay, so oh, that's probably long enough. It's the, the pit that she's been pretty hot. Um, oh yeah, they look, they look good. The fur's gone a little bit singed, but that's okay. It's flattened out a bit in the cooking. Anyway, there's the four mice there. I'll just cut, whoops, I better take that off the, you don't want to cut it on your good pizza tray, so. Home forged, uh, steel forged pizza cutter that my sons bought me from Queensland, handmade in Australia. You'll love it. Oh, make sure I apply plenty of pressure to those mices. Back on the tray. There we have it. Mice pizza. That's what I call paddock to plate. Now. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. How am I gonna eat it? Do you wanna have a taste? There's only one way to do this and that's fast. That's what I call paddock to plate. See you later.